morning, this is Dr. Shelley, and I wanna show you how to take notes and really prepare for any test, whether it's a HESI, an ATI, nursing school exam, midterms, finals, NGN, NCLEX, it doesn't matter. I am here today to show you how to effectively take notes, get the meat and the potatoes out of whatever you're looking at or reading or doing, take good notes. I'm also trying to teach you how to use the HETV videos to your maximum efficiency for free, right? You know I have a whole nursing school on YouTube for free. You just have to maximize it by going to the playlist. So the first thing's first, right? So I always tell students that you can pretty much do everything by cell phone. So I have quite a few cell phones because of one cell phone has to do the YouTube videos, the other cell phone has to get the business, the other cell phone is for family. This is the oldest phone I have. I do have an iPhone, so it's a lot easier. You want to make sure that YouTube app is on your phone. Hit it. Oop, that went over real well. So hit that. Now, it pops up on me, but I'm going to rearrange it so it doesn't, okay? Just because I was probably looking at it last, and I'm going to go and do that again because I need you to know how to do this. So you go ahead, you download the app, the YouTube app, put it on your phone. Tap that bad boy and let's see what we get. This phone is purposely set at whatever. It doesn't matter what it's set at. It's not a phone that automatically goes to YouTube because that phone is tied to the channel. This phone is tied to a bunch of channels. I use it as my demo phone. If you look at your cell phone right now, do this with me, you're gonna hit at the bottom the word subscriptions. And I know you can't hardly see that, but that's what you're gonna hit. Then at the top, you're gonna see HETV if you already subscribed. If you didn't, I'm just gonna slap you because you should have been subscribed by now if you paying attention to me ever. <laughs> so hit the subscribe button. All right, so now we're on this channel and I'm jumping up and down and doing whatever. The next best place for you to go is view channel, if that's what popped up. I don't care what really popped up. What you're trying to do is get to the playlist. You get to the playlist, you'll see me, and then you scroll to the subject that you need. I'm scrolling past a lot of subjects to get to the one that I need. Today's demo will be done on psych and psych meds. The first mastery topic for you to pass your NGN NCLEX exam is psych and psych meds using my, my program. So we're gonna go to psych. I think everybody can see that, it's right there. And we're gonna tap it. Now, psych has, if you scroll, psych has nine different topics. And each one of these topics is something different. So if you scroll with me, you'll see depression, bipolar, PTSD, OCD, you'll see eating disorders, schizophrenia, um, neuroleptic malignant syndrome, alcohol, blah, 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 suicide, blah, 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 you know, whatever, whatever. So you can read just like I can. And the ones that matter are numbered. Why do you care? Well, because your first step when you are trying to prepare to do a mastery topic like we're doing this morning is to pull up the video playlist. The playlist is like a textbook. When you tap on the playlist, the subjects are the chapters. So there's nine chapters in my psych textbook, which is a playlist. Why you care about that is because the step one and how to really take good notes is you have to have the handout and the packet. Well, the packet and the handout is psych and psych meds. That's true, but that's not good enough because before you watch the actual videos, you have to look in the psych and psych meds packet to see what handouts you already have because some of you come into my class even and you wrote everything about schizophrenia on the wrong page. 
because you didn't know there was a page for schizophrenia. You, you probably have done that. All of us have. Or you wrote a whole lot of information on OCD on a whole nother page than what it goes with. So today I really want you to just pay attention on how to maximize just the handout itself. So this first video is just the handout showing you how to navigate the handout. But first you have to know what subjects were in the video based on the title to know what pages in the handout you really need to mark and be prepared to, to take notes on, okay? In addition to that, you need the basics all around you when you're preparing to do mastery. You need your Oh My God packet out because on page seven of your Oh My God packet is all of the different disease processes that you might have to see first. And on page seven, there are quite a few psychiatric issues that you might need to highlight. Because on page seven of the Oh My God packet, we highlight uh, people to see first. So while you're looking at my videos, I might say to you, oh, you know you gotta see this patient first. And then you go straight to page seven and say, where is it on here? Because if I said it, it's on there, okay? So you always have your Oh My God packet with you. It also has labs in there if you needed it. Maybe something ethical legal pops up, definitely in psych sometimes. But it has all that in there so you can take little notes or highlight what's in there, okay? Meds, and here it says NB. Medications are these packets. You need to have, every time you get ready to do your mastery, you need to have both of your medication packets. Now, many of you are taking advantage this week, actually, of the $50 sale that we have on pink packet bundles. And it includes the Oh My God packet right in it, right? So you get all these packets that I'm showing you right now. They're called the pink packet bundle for 50 bucks. Normally, they're 75. Ask anybody. So you've got your pharmacology. You've got your medication categories. What's the difference? Well, the pharmacology packet has the the most common medications on the freaking test in addition to herbs and vitamins and if you turn the page it begins an alphabetical really look at that see all the a's an alphabetical list throughout the whole packet of a ton of meds so that if I were to say the med and you're like oh let me see if that's in my packet that's smart because that's how you get to know your pharmacology. Then medication categories, if you have it, if you don't, that's what NB means, notebook. <laughs> I tell y'all all the time, get you a five subject notebook, get busy with it y'all, make one of those subjects pharmacology or meds, right? So if you're using this with this subject, it's huge because even though I have for this purpose and this mastery, even though you have that pink packet psych meds, part of the pink packet bundle, even though you have this, you also want to know that when you go in your medication categories, you have a whole section on psych meds. So I'm gonna show you what I mean because people are kind of like shocked, right? They're like, whoa, what's going on with that? I didn't know that was there. Oh my God, I wrote all that out, right? Mm -mm. Stop writing so much. Here's your psych meds. I even have highlighted the different areas. So you see your benzodiazepines, your antipsychotics, your SSRIs, okay? You see that. And then if you turn the page, you would see your tricyclic antidepressants, your MAOIs, your phenothiazines, all these psych medications. So you're gonna need this, believe me. Now, so you are preparing to start this taking the note process. The other packet that you have, and again, if you don't have any of these pink packets, don't worry about it, that says notebook, okay? We can do this for free. We don't have to spend money we don't have. But if you do have it, 
then you would know that the pink packet bundle has procedures. And what is this? Reduction of risk. Number one failure area with basic care and comfort. Now it's tied with basic care and comfort on the NCLEX, NGN NCLEX exam. This has procedures in it. Now I will vouch for you that you may not use this packet much when you're doing your psych mastery because the only procedure I can even think of right now is probably like ECT or some shit like that. But it doesn't have a lot of procedures. But I mean, if you were sitting down to do respiratory, you'd kind of want this right by your side. So these are the basics. You take the handout for the subject and here we clearly have the handout for the subject and we have the psych meds handout because if you're following along with me on page four of your oh my god packet that you and i have talked about if i did a consultation with you you know that that page says psych and psych meds they're together inseparable so that's the handouts that you have here ready to do your thing again psych and psych meds oh my god medications or notebook to write medications in procedures which is reduction of risk high failure area that pink packet is right by your side now the psych and psych meds packet you've got it here your focus is this primarily and now you're going through the pages what are you going through the pages for well let's go back to that playlist if you look at the playlist, you'll see the playlist included personality disorders, right? Depression, bipolar, PTSD, OCD, eating disorders, schizophrenia, neuroleptic malignant syndrome, alcohol, suicide. Okay, guess what? What I'm gonna do with this psych packet after knowing that there are just certain subjects that are going to be a video, I'm going to take my pen, doesn't matter what color, but I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to write a V on every single one of the pages that I know there's a video for. So if you're doing this with me, you're writing a V on suicide. You're writing a V on alcohol. You're writing a V on cocaine because alcohol and cocaine, very similar. I'm sure I'm going to talk about both. Okay. You're writing a V on the packet, the handout that says depression. There's more than one depression. If you look at this, I don't know if I did that right. Okay, if you look at there, there's another handout for depression. I'm going to write a V on it because I need to know this is the handouts I'm trying to pay attention to. And things go kind of fast. You know how that is. I saw one for bipolar. I'm going to write a V on this. And then manic episode is part of bipolar. I know I'm going to be writing on that. I'm going to turn... Eminent deadline stress. I don't remember seeing that. OCD. I remember seeing that. So I'm going to do a V for that one. Okay. So you're just trying to familiarize your packet with the video. There's definitely a video on schizophrenia. And there's more than one page for schizophrenia because there's hallucinations. Okay. You don't know it, but this page that looks like this, you wouldn't know it just looking at it, but I call this the E-P-S-N-M-S -S page, which means extra pyramidal symptoms, neuroleptic malignant syndrome. And I make sure that I know that this is two pages so I can put my notes down here and I also will write E P S N M S at the bottom so you guys can kind of do your thing. Now, it's not mandatory that you do it this way. It's just a little bit easier and I thought I would just do a demo to help you. Here's another one. You saw a video on this. Guess what? It gets a V for video. You know if it's eating disorders, anorexia nervosa, and bulimia, 
are gonna be on there. So we got these to put on those pages, okay? Because if you look in the Oh My God packet, there's basically VMs by the subjects that you have to master. Now, here's what I didn't see. I didn't see personality disorders. I didn't see it. I didn't see a handout for that. Well, guess what? You're gonna be writing your personality disorders on the front page, in the outline, wherever you can, because there's no specified handout for that. That's how you keep everything in the packet. If you're using notebook paper, but you actually have this packet, you are screwing up and doing it very wrong. If you're using notebook paper because you don't have this packet, you're doing the best you can with what you got, and that's called brilliant, okay? So, but when you have the packet, keep all your notes in the packet. That sound good? It's critical, I'm telling you guys. All right, now, psych medications, you didn't see a video on psych meds per se, but in each video, I mentioned medications. Part of the problem is you guys may not know the categories for a lot of these medications. That would be a big problem. Some are under SSRIs, some are under MAOIs, some say anti-tricyclic, I mean, um, antidepressants, uh, your tricyclic antidepressants, some of them say that, but a lot of them don't. So you have to constantly be looking at the meds packet to see if I cover it. The psych meds packet really plays a role when we start to do our questions. Now, this was video one. I'll be back because next is how do we take notes? I'm literally, swear to God, I'm literally going to watch my eating disorder video and I'm going to take notes. It's a 15 or 16 minute video. It's not a 40 or 50 minute video. I was gonna do bipolar, but that's like 40 some odd minutes. This is something I'm trying to get done today so everyone can take advantage of it, especially over the holidays when you might have more time. So I'm going to, you know, deuces out on it here, and I'm going to go ahead and watch the eating disorder video, and I'm gonna come back and show you what I found. What can you do right now if you're free? Go watch the eating disorder video, because if you watch it and I watch it, you'll know where I got my notes. I'm gonna show you my notes, I'm gonna show you how I did it, and just for shits, kicks, and giggles, I want you to see the page is completely empty. For example, just really got to show you this because you don't, you know, you may not believe what I'm doing here is going to help you, but I want you to see just how this works. What I'm doing is looking for my eating disorders handout. There's one, but I'm not stupid. I know because I looked in here before I even looked at any videos that there's more pages. So this one is anorexia nervosa. This one is bulimia right? This is bulimia. So I've got three pages for the video of eating disorders. There might be something in the video that is extra. It may not have anything to do with eating disorders. I may have to use one of those other pages in this packet to take those notes and put a heading over it. I'll show you how I do that. I'll be back. God bless. Go get a snack. Go watch the damn video, okay? Don't play with me. I'm, I'm trying to hook you up today. It's like a Thanksgiving type of thing. And I'm in Cleveland, the Browns one. I'm feeling good. I mean, I'm like feeling really good. Y'all see my Betty Boot? Y'all see her? She cute, ain't she? Bye. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. Bye.